You know, at United, our shared purpose is connecting people and uniting the world. Back in 2019, we operated 1.7 million flights, carrying 162 million customers to over 300 destinations worldwide. Now, even with this Thanksgiving weekend travel at nearly 2019 levels, it's most certainly not 2019 anymore. There's no doubt that the last 22 months have had a tremendous impact on the airline and travel industry. But I'm here today to tell you a little bit about how we at United had managed that journey. About our philosophy that inclusion propels innovation, and how innovation was significantly accelerated due to our work with AWS. Specifically, AWS enabled us to increase the speed of innovation during a crisis. It helped us variabilize our cost structure and put us on a path to replace aging legacy platforms. In 2019, we knew that our legacy platforms were becoming costly to operate, and we were really concerned that they weren't going to be able to scale as the airline grew. So first, we debated a single cloud or a multi-cloud strategy. During all of our discussions, we kept coming back to the importance of resilience. Because any glitch in the smallest of systems has the potential to cause a flight delay. And within minutes, that can become a Twitter storm, or worse, hits the, new, the news cycle. So that meant a single cloud provider. And the team quickly concluded that the quality and breadth of products and the continued pace of innovation meant that AWS was the only real choice for us. So in February of 2020, we had a top-to-top -top meeting in Chicago. We kicked off our relationship, and we learned about best practices. The COVID-19 pandemic hit a few weeks later. To say that it changed our focus would be an understatement. Let me give you a perspective. There was one day in April of 2020 where we had fewer passengers than pilots. We stopped all projects, and it also became painfully obvious not only could our current platforms not scale up, they couldn't scale down either. Now, like you, the United Digital Technology team found themselves suddenly working from home. But instead of a two-pizza team, we had a one-screen team made up of no more than the number of video squares you can fit on your computer monitor. So yes, Adam, we took this idea directly from AWS. Now let me tell you about one of the first big ideas that popped out of one of these teams. It's a product called the Travel Ready Center. It runs on our digital channels. As travel restrictions increased, it was really confusing for our customers. And our team knew we could do better when international flying restarted. The team built a machine learning model to address the travel chaos. They used Amazon S3 to pull in COVID test forms. They categorized them with Amazon DynamoDB, and then ran forms through Amazon TextTract and Amazon SageMaker. Now, these models are continuing to improve. But we've automatically validated two-thirds of all documents and over 75% of all COVID test forms for over 4 million customers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you what, customers, they love it. They get their boarding passes before they get to the airport. They zip right through the airport lobby. They don't stop to get their documents checked. Our gate agents, they're ecstatic. Travel requirements continue to change. The forms, they vary by country. 
It's complicated, it's time consuming, and incredibly complex. So we solved this quickly using Amazon SageMaker, and it was significantly better than our own internally developed models. Now, as far as I know, United is the only airline doing these checks completely within our mobile app. Now, while the Travel Ready Center was underway, other teams saw that refactoring and moving workloads to AWS would save cash, since our airline was running at such a scaled-down rate. We used the time to take it, that time to take a little bit more risk. As a result, many of the technology used by our employees and much of what our core customer-facing technology run on, over 100 applications in all, they now run on AWS, up from less than a handful when the pandemic started. This was not a lift and shift. These applications have a more intuitive user experience. They have better operational instrumentation and better security. Our frontline teams, they love these new tools. These tools make it easier to assist our customers. They scale up and they scale down with passenger demand. And it's definitely one of the reasons that our customer net promoter score is up over 30 points since the start of the pandemic. Yeah, that means our chief customer officer is happy and so is our CFO. I mean, how often does that happen? Now, much of, what just, much of what has propelled our success are the native AWS products on the screen behind me, actually all over this room. They're enabling us to rapidly transform our legacy platforms. But equally important is our decision was to standardize on AWS is the importance of having a diverse, inclusive team. My team is non-traditional by airline standards and maybe even by the standard technology team. 50% of my direct reports are women. Yeah. 60% of our leadership team is diverse. Yep. And it's not just that. You know, many of our teams, they come from the airline industry, but just as many come from other industries as well. So what I want to leave you with is an Amazon success story, and it's a good one. But I also want to remind you about the importance of working in an inclusive way. The results, particularly in a crisis, speak for itself. It's why we believe so strongly that inclusion propels innovation. Yep. And we're doing that together with AWS. Thank you.